right, let's do a lab. How to put and get records from Kinesis stream using CLI or through CLI. So for that, uh, let me open console. Let me open a CLI with AWS installed in it. And let's create a stream. The command for that would be AWS Kinesis create stream and then the stream name. Right, I'm going to call it as foo. And the short count is going to be one. Let's create a stream and let's describe the stream. Right, just to see what's going on. Is it created? Is it active? The status of it, right? So as of now, it's in creation status. We'll have to wait for some time before it's, it becomes active, right? Now our Kinesis stream moved status from creating to active. We can also see that using the list stream command, we can see that we have, we now have a Kinesis stream with name foo right so let's put some record in this kinesis stream and I'll, I'll share those commands with you the cli commands knowing the cli is is beyond the scope right how it functions the pros and cons that you learn in the theory how it functions how to how it maintains data how to put data how to uh, retrieve data what are the other services it connects to is what is needed right Let's put data in the Kinesis stream at test data. The data is nothing but a string called test data. And it gives me an output that uh, the data is successfully added. Now let's look at retrieving the data. Before we can get data from the stream, we need to obtain the uh, shard iterator for the shard we are interested in. Right, so this is the shard we are interested in. And we do that by the command AWS Kinesis get shard iterator and then the shard ID and then the shard iterator try type which is uh, trim horizon and the name of the stream which is foo. All right, there you go. So now that we have the shard iterator ID, we can go ahead and get the records. So the command would be AWS kinesis get hyphen records and then shard iterator and the id itself which is right here right just missed two hyphens here you might be surprised that's not the data that we put well the partition key I'm familiar with that was one two three but that's not the data that I put the reason why we don't see the data here as we put is that it's in an encrypted format in CLI does not provide base 64 decoding so that's not available in the CLI so but this is the data how do we verify we can verify this by decoding the data using external decoding web pages all right so let me go in here this is an external decoding web page Let's copy, let's copy the file. Let's copy the content that shows here and let's decode it. And there you go. That's the data that we initially entered in the Kinesis stream. So I'm logged into the console and here's the Kinesis stream and this can be integrated delivery streams and this can be integrated with the analytics applications as well so now let's switch back to the console and let's do cleanup because kinesis is not free and this can actually add up charges to your account And now you see it's in deleting mode and in some time it'll get deleted. Please subscribe the channel and press the bell icon. Thank you for watching this video. Share your feedback or queries in the comments section and we will reply to you as early as possible. Happy learning with LearnCarts.